I don't know. Hello YouTube. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, Bila wanted to say hello today. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, today's video, I'm coming to you, bye. Today, I'm coming to you with a, uh, Primark haul. Um, if you're new to my channel, sorry, hi, my name is Grace aka Gracie Gay. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and join the family. You know you want to. You know, you know. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do any of that because it's just like, well, I might do it every now and again, just be a bit silly. Anyway, when it's fun on my channel and that's what it is. Today I'm coming to you with a haul. It's not a massive haul, just a few things that I got in Primark. Um, I like to go to Primark quite frequently. Um, well not that frequently but I do like to go in there and have a look um, there's certain things that I like and then there's certain things that I don't like um, so for anyone who wants to see how I style a lot of the stuff that I wear you will catch this on Instagram that's what I'm gonna start doing and um, I haven't started to do try and hauls yet only because mm, well I just haven't um, I haven't found a good spot in my flat yet where I can do the video of me trying on the stuff and then inserting it on the side um so i just gen generally tend to take pictures and post them quickly on instagram anyway so if you want to see what they look like that's where you're going to find them anyway without further ado i did spend quite a bit of money and um i bought this bag oh my god so typically obviously i know about trends i know what's trending i know what's out there but I don't typically sort of, you know, a lot of the stuff I'm like, meh. You know, I like to go out and pick what I want. I don't want everybody else, society, fashion magazine or whatever, dictating what I can and can't buy. I mean, a lot of the stuff come around over and over again anyway. Why do I need a new one of it? And if I don't, if everyone's wearing skinny jeans because it's, it's what's fashionable right now, if I only feel comfortable in straight jeans or baggy jeans, that's what I'm going to wear. I'm not going to go and buy skinny jeans because everyone's wearing it. If it makes me uncomfortable, I dress for me and nobody else because when I work and I earn my money, it's for me and nobody else. So I spend my money in the same exact way of thinking. Anyway, I saw the haul, her horn and I saw this bag on it and it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's nothing, you know, it's just, it's just a wooden bag that's what it is it's a wooden bag um well made for primark but my only downside about this is and i knew this going in of obviously is that it costs 20 pounds this cost 20 pounds and when i was in primark and i was going around there was this skirt that i saw and i'll try and find an insert of it and leave it on the side of this and it was 15 pounds and there was another youtuber that i saw that had bought something similar but in a different pattern i think and she made it look beautiful uh and she's got a stunning plus size figure which is i'm kind of like not necessarily a plus size but i do buy like 14s and 16s only because i feel more comfortable in it i don't feel like i'm wearing um restraints basically um yeah so pre daughter i guess i was more of a 10 to 12 now you know i mean for anyone who doesn't know i'm you know almost mid 40s yes i know so um i've you know lost weight gained weight but you know post baby post i mean she's nine now she's not exactly a baby but my body is completely changed so now i tend to grab i'm gravitating towards the 14 to 16 so i guess you could say i'm plus size Anyway, by the by, it doesn't matter. Uh, the skirt, I tried it on in the in the changing room and it didn't work for me, so I put it down. So I had this whole idea in my head about how I would style this bag, but I still bought it anyway because I, out between the skirt and this bag, I liked this bag. So, 
I bought it and it's 20 pounds right now in Primark and it is beautiful it's really well made and it's a great summer spring summer bag and next thing that I got in Primark and this is one of the other reasons why I kept the bag is because of this trench coat now this was 30 pounds and I have bought something similar before and I got this in a size 16 I got this in a size 16 30 pounds when I bought it one of the things that drew me to this was this inside check a bit here I don't know if you can see it but it's very 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 nice um, yeah and it's just it's just really well structured well made I don't know if you can see that it's just gorgeous so yeah it's a very yeah it's like a very pale tan um, color they don't give you descriptions really in Primark of their clothes or the color or anything like that but it's definitely definitely a much better quality than the one that I bought before um actually I'm gonna get the other one so this is the one that I was talking about that I bought it's a much lighter a much more flimsier version to the other one and grayish grayish uh, version you can't really see I don't know if you can see my lighting is completely throwing it off and I do apologize for that but you will get a better essence of the color like I said if you just pop over on Instagram and see the pictures that I've taken in this um, two trench coats so you can see side by side the different colors that they actually are so this is the anyway so yeah I've got Tic Tacs and that's in the cherry and cola flavor really this is for Bella I mean she wants to buy that um, and uh, we got these earrings as well which uh, is had this was a pink set which she's got on right now that's a clear set and that's a gray one and I don't know if you can see that very well but yeah so that was three pounds then we got these which I absolutely love I think they're gorgeous these are also three pounds um, these loops I particularly like the orange bits that you can see coming through there um, we also got or well, I also got these earrings which were two pounds um, which is gorgeous I like it um, it kind of reminds me of like a Egyptian kind of style that kind of thing and then you know another uh, earthy earring here which is a wooden brown wooden uh, set of loops I'm not really a loop earring person I prefer to wear studs that's my typical mo I will go towards it I don't like dangly earrings because it's I find that it you know if you wear them too often for too long they will stretch your lobes <clears throat> so I don't do that um, I prefer to wear studs but these are really light except for these these are quite heavy but I really did to prefer bought these so that I could wear it whenever I'm doing shots or taking Instagram photos or doing my videos so those are the and those are the three earrings that I got the next thing that I purchased uh, was this dress yes I got it in a size 16 and it's 15 pounds and it's a wrap around um, the wrap goes in snatches you in the waist and the bottom has this sort of extra pleating at the bottom as well which is really really nice and it's a polka dot it's sort of like a very pale pink it's not pink like a creamy pink um, bit and then these dots are actually um, a reddish brown so it's a very beautiful long dress and I plan to wear these with a pair of sneakers um, something like this I've been wanting these actually for a very long time in Primark and they never did my size and every time I went in I was always disappointed because they didn't have it in a size 7 and today I went in and it was the only pair that was on the shelf and I just couldn't believe it so I grabbed them and it's these and they've got this print on them which I absolutely love I got these at eight pounds 
um, and I got them in a size 7. I'm not a size 7, I'm only, for, for reference, I'm 5 foot 4 um, and my feet are a size 5 and a half, maybe 6. But I don't like wearing tight shoes. I never buy my size shoes. I always buy a size or maybe a size and a half up. That's just what I do. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing shoes that make my foot feel like that, like my feet are being gripped. So I buy shoes and my feet are like this and the shoes like this. And that's how I like it. So yeah, so I've got these in a size seven and I always buy sevens in these shoes in Primark. I have a ton of them and I genuinely tend to, if I find one that I like, I will buy two of them, keep one to the side, so that when I've worn that to death and I'm thinking, ugh, because that's happened to me once. I've bought something, I love them, I wore them to death and then I wish I'd bought another one and I hadn't. So when I go into Primark, these are the best things since life spread because I've got wide feet and the, um, what are they called? The All Star, a narrow, can't wear them for anything. And these bits here, in the all star these sides here that's the stitching near the near the top of the foot rub so for me all stars are out primark eight pounds primsoles are in so that's what i do so this is another thing that i bought and i love them and i love the pattern on it it's just gorgeous absolutely love it so yeah this and then i saw this shirt now there's a certain material that they do in primark that I cannot stand. I don't abide by it. The feel of it in my hands, I wouldn't have it in my hands, so I'm certainly not gonna put it on my body. Um, so I prefer like the cotton feel of clothing rather than this, that shiny kind of, ooh, it's not even polyester. I don't even know. It's, it's definitely polyester, but it's just like, it just looks cheap. And I stay away from things like that in Primark. I, I really do, I hate them. Um, I saw this blouse. And I love it. It's eight pounds, and I got it in a size 16 again. Um, I buy size 16 mostly for my top. For those who don't know, I'm heavy chested, so I always have to have something that accommodates the sisters um, and makes me feel comfortable. Again, not too tight. I don't want to feel like I'm in a vice. I want to feel comfortable. So um, I got this shirt and it's blue and blue is one of my favorite colors so it's got blue brown well not brown really more like a yeah it's like a light brown stripe light blue stripe white shirt and the back bit comes a little bit down to the front bit and what I like about this is like a it's like a deep V but not too deep V with no buttons I love that I just love that style um, and the sleeves are uh, like that and I just love it I think this shirt is beautiful again I would probably wear something like this with jeans or uh, leggings you know simple I'm a simple dresser unless I'm going out I'm thinking about this shirt tying it with this pair of dark jeans good to go if I wanted to dress it up maybe I might cinch in my waist that kind of thing Bob's your uncle dead boring stuff um just some fitted sheets and pillowcase and i got it in black and that's it because i have a dirty big bed i got a king and the king is 650 fitted sheet i think it's a fitted sheet oh god thank god for that and then two pillowcases uh for one pound 70 and that was it and all in all i'll tell you because I know you want to know. Oh yeah, Bella's wearing the pink earrings to the ones that we were talking about before, uh, which is this set here. This is her set. Um, all in all, £98.20 for everything that I've showed you, which is not bad. I mean, it's not a lot of stuff, but the coat itself was 30 quid. And that was the most one of the the most expensive thing and then the um, maxi dress the wrap maxi dress was 15 pounds and i have noticed that um they started their price point use primark's price point used to be 13. now it's creeping up ever so slightly to 15 
who knows a couple of years from now everything standard could be 18 maybe 20 pounds so there you have it and that is my little small Primark haul so yeah that's what really bumped up the amount to 92.20 um it wouldn't have cost that much um the first one I got the trench coat that I was talking about I think I only paid 15 for that but that is a much lighter a much more um cheaper version to the one that I saw today in Primark that I purchased and I loved it and that's it so thank you very much for watching my video I hope you enjoy my little haul sorry I can't help but be silly um and um I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you like some of the stuff that I got and if you do run in and get it because stuff in Primark don't stay for long I went in for a particular dress sold out and that's it um I, if they're gonna get some more who knows I don't know but yeah if you like any of this stuff go and get it basically um yeah so thank you for watching i hope you have a lovely evening wherever you are in the world um please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it um don't forget to follow me on instagram it's gracie gray spelled g-r-a-y c-i-e-g-r-a-y uh, on instagram to see how i style my clothes and until the next time love you all and stay blessed and i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye love you bye